My child arrived just the other day. He came into the world in the usual way, but there were planes to catch. Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. Happy New Year 2022. Let's hope this one is a little brighter than the last two. This review has been a long time coming. Hey, phrasing! I have a few Pen BBS 323s and I've reviewed them many times. In fact, I gave one of them away. For me, they are the most comfortable writing experience of any pen. I have some rare finishes in my 323s. I have an Amber is a Cat, Tootsie, a Peacock Stripe, and a black tortoise. But I was never able to get my hands on my favorite pen BBS finish, Galaxy, in a 323. That was until viewer Carl Mueller gifted me this beautiful Galaxy 323 in what he called a reverse pen giveaway to thank me for my videos. It was and is an incredibly generous gift. Thank you, Carl. I mentioned to him that I would hold off doing a review until the pen BBS 14 karat gold nibs arrived and I'd put that nib on this pen. I figured that would only be a couple of months, and that was last spring. Well, finally, the new Pen BBS 14 karat gold calligraphy nibs arrived, and I bit the bullet and paid the hefty price of $115 US for one of the gold nibs. That nib is now on the Galaxy 323, and it's time to see how it writes right now. <laughs> So when I first uh, posted my video uh, explaining I was going to take a hiatus from doing fountain pen reviews for a bit, I got some really nice emails, uh, very supportive emails from all of you guys, so thank you very much. But I also got an email from Carl Mueller. And Carl said he wanted to give me a pen and thank you for doing all my videos. Well, that's very generous, very, very generous, and I'm, I'm overwhelmed here. Here is the box, and there's a note here from Carl. It says, Dear Doug, a small token to express my appreciation for all your videos sharing your discoveries about fountain pens. I hope you'll enjoy this one and that it will find a happy home among all of your cherished galaxies. All the best, Carl. And this note was written with a pen BBS 456. Um, round fine with noodler's blue. Well, here's a pen. And it is a 323 Galaxy. Oh, and here's our familiar box. And here's the pen. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> oh, Carl, you're giving up something wonderful here. And a beautiful fine nib. And I told him that I was going to wait until the 14 karat gold pen BBS nibs came out, which was going to be real soon now, uh, and put that 14 karat gold nib on this pen, and the package has arrived. This is quite incredible. I paid the extra $16 uh, on pen BBS, and this came within two weeks. This is a lot of packaging for a single nib. And that's because they put it in a case. Pen BBS 585, Shanghai, China. That's nice. It's just the regular uh, little keychain fob uh, that they've been selling for single nibs and the calligraphy nibs. But here on the back it says, Calligraphy 579, that, this says 585, and that says 579. Now I'm really confused. And this is a number 8 that I ordered. Let's open this and see. It's a nice little box. For this price, that's good. And there's my nib. And also, this is a nice thing too. I gifted a... Pen BBS 500 Galaxy to my son for his birthday and he loves the pen and he'd been using it uh, every day and he puts the pen in his jean pocket and using it every day that clip keeps bending and bending and finally it snapped. I pulled a clip off of the 355 that I have 
and repaired his pen, but then I needed a replacement for my 355. So I asked Biney if she could get me what, give me one of these clips. She said, yeah, I'll put it in your next order. So I requested it with this 14 karat gold nib and she just slipped it in the case. So I'll do that repair as well. And that was free of charge and gratis. And besides, it didn't cost anything. Grab a brew. Don't cost nothing. And here's our little nib charm in the smoothie, pink smoothie finish. And there's our 14 karat gold nib. Oh, the gold is certainly nice. It has this little tulip design on it. Um, I know we were teased with 14 karat gold nibs the first time by Biney on Instagram, showing a goldfished engraved, uh, flower engraved, beautiful designs. I'll post them. I'll put them up here so you can see them. But uh, we were thinking that when the gold nibs came out, that's what we were going to see. But uh, this is what the first issue looks like. And uh, I've just been informed by Biney's Instagram that the engraved versions, the goldfish engraved and the uh, flower engraved versions will be $300 US without shipping. So I think that's a hard pass for me. This guy can't afford that, that's for sure. This was $115 or something like that US, and that's pushing it. And one of the interesting things I want to see when I put this nib on this pen is how well this 14 karat gold nib compares with the regular steel calligraphy nib. We'll see. And before we begin, I'm going to show you how easy the nib swap is with a pen BBS fountain pen and a nib charm. And this is just how easy this is going to be. I'm going to, this is a hot swap, so I'm going to be using a Kleenex. I'm just going to unscrew the calligraphy number one nib. I'm going to use a polish cloth on this so I don't get a thumbprint on it. Just going to grab it from the top and the bottom very gently. Those fins are fragile in pen BBS. Just grip it and twist the section. Put the converter back in and we're ready to go. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. The pen BBS 323 is a unique animal. I know some people have informed me that the pen BBS 323 is a copy of some pen or other. But of course, if the shape is vaguely familiar, then the Chinese must have copied it. It's a fake. I still maintain this pen is unique. There is no clip. The cap does not post. This is intended as a desk pen. And in the hand, I know of no other pen that feels so ergonomically perfect than the 323. I have a few of them and I put some roll stops on them. Here is my Amber as a cat. This is a piece of costume jewelry that I got on eBay for a couple of bucks. It makes the Amber as a cat a little more zazzy. I was going to name him Herman von Helmholtz, but he's so zazzy. I also put the calligraphy number one nib on this after I removed it from the Galaxy 323. And I just got this aluminum 323 recently and I'll be doing a review of this pen shortly. And here is my Black Tortoise 323, my Tootsie 323, and my Peacock Striped 323. I bought the 14 karat gold pen BBS nib on Etsy for $115 US and paid the extra $16 for faster shipping. The nib arrived in less than a week. It is a calligraphy nib and I chose the number eight as it was a new one in the calligraphy line. I already have calligraphy number one, calligraphy number two, and calligraphy number seven, in addition to this calligraphy number eight. I'll be doing a special video in mid-January where I'll demonstrate each of these pen BBS calligraphy nibs and compare them to my new Kaigaloo Longblade Architect nibs. 
I'll do a quick overview of the parts and features of the 323 for those of you who are unfamiliar with the model. I'll link my other 323 reviews in the description below. Let's look at this amazing Galaxy Acrylic first. The depth of the chatoyancy is quite remarkable and this finish continues to be my favorite acrylic resin. I wish I could get this on a Pelican M800 or M1000. From the top we see a conical shaped finial and the cap curves in a lovely arch up and then all the way down to the barrel. Again this piece of costume jewelry is a nice roll stop. Just look at costume jewelry on eBay and search for an adjustable ring. There's a barely perceptible step down to the barrel and the barrel is key to this pen's ergonomics. It bulges in the middle and then swoops down to a thinner tail before it curves back up again to the conically shaped end finial. The cap unscrews with about one and a half rotations to reveal a beautiful concave section and very smooth cap threads. And the number six size 14 karat gold calligraphy number eight nib. The original on this pen was a standard number six size fine steel nib. You saw how easily the nib and feed unit unscrews for replacement. So let's take a closer look at this nib. There is the standard pen BBS filigree border and then a lovely tulip or lotus flower design. Pen BBS, Shanghai, China and AU585 for the gold content. There is no indication of which calligraphy nib this is in the series, so it's vitally important that you keep track of your nibs if you have more than one. The section unscrews to reveal a pen BBS cartridge converter. There is a silicone O-ring seal right here that will allow you to eyedropper this pen giving it a huge ink capacity at a whopping 3.8 milliliters. I've removed this one as I will only be using the converter on this pen and that allows the barrel to screw on and off a little bit easier. The pen will also take Lamy Long and Parker Short cartridges. Inside of the cap shows a little ledge milled into the acrylic that meets up with the section to seal the nib. The cap does not post, it's not designed to post. Unposted, the pen is, as I've said many times, extraordinarily comfortable. It feels like the shape is formed perfectly for my hand. The pen is light and I can write for hours with this pen with no discomfort or fatigue. Now let's look at some size comparisons. Here is the Pen BBS 323 Galaxy with a Pen BBS 456 vacuum filler, a Moonman M800. Galaxy, a Pen BBS 308 Galaxy with gold trim, and a Pen BBS 355 bulk filler in Galaxy. I hope you're sensing a theme here. A theme. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. The Pen BBS 323 doesn't post, as I mentioned, and the 355 is a dubious poster at best. I should note that my Moonman M800 has a Pen BBS fine nib on it. So I guess this is my Moon BBS M800. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Pen BBS 323 Galaxy and it has a 14 karat gold number six size nib. And it is a calligraphy number eight. Well, let's check the wetness. You can probably already tell this pen is a gusher. 
For those folks that constantly complain that pen BBS nibs are dry, well, this fire hose is for you. The nib is butter smooth with just a hint of feedback. And it has some incredible bounce to it. which makes it really, really wet. The pen is already really wet, so I don't really want to put very much pressure on it. But even when you're writing with it gently like this, you feel that slight spring to it. Gives it a really super soft feeling. And the ink today is Dimene. Happy. Holidays. Here are some close matches to this ink from Inkswatch.com. In this gusher of a pen, this ink can really show off. There's a wonderful red sheen, tons of shading, and some silver shimmer as well. As to line variation, well, this pen is very, very versatile. You get variation because of the shape of the grind. If you hold the pen vertically, like this, you get a very, very thin line, just like that. And as you decrease the angle, your line gets thicker and thicker. And then, of course, you can push it to get a very broad line indeed. Then, of course, you have that very soft bounce on the gold nib. Uh, so pressure gives you a little bit more line variation as you write. And finally, in reverse, you get a fine line as well that continues to write. So this nib gives you a range of line thicknesses depending on the angle and on the flex. So here's what I've measured. Holding the pen at 90 degrees to the page, you get a line that is 0.2 millimeters at 60 degrees, you get a line that's 0.4 millimeters. At 45 degrees, you get a line that's 0.5 millimeters. And at 30 degrees, you get a line that's 0.6 millimeters. Of course, this is all very rough. But when flexed, this line right here gets up to 0.8 millimeters. So this gives you a range of 0.2 to 0.8. And of course, reverse uh, gives you a much drier line and it's a 0.2 millimeters as well. So this range is a Western double fine to a broad or a Japanese, sorry, XF extra fine to a double broad. It should be noted that all of these calligraphy nibs from Pen BBS are designed for calligraphy and more specific, Eastern calligraphy. They might not be suitable for Western cursive writing. They also require some precise nib to paper control. So you may experience some skipping if you're not holding your pen with the nib correctly on the page. I've experienced some skipping uh, on the downstrokes. There, it did it just there. Uh, and then when I examine how I'm holding the, the pen in relation to the paper, I've noticed that I'm drifting off angle. There might also be just a slight amount of baby's bottom on the lower portion of this nib, which would result in a skip on a downstroke. And for our quote. And we've already done some reverse writing, so here's some quick writing. see that the feed keeps up very nicely but again that angle to the page as I write quickly I start getting some railroading 
and some some skipping. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? I frequently commented on how much I love this Pen BBS 323 pen design. Its ergonomics is second to none, and the eyedropper capacity is enormous. And that Galaxy acrylic, well, it's just stunning. As to the 14 karat gold Pen BBS calligraphy number 8 nib, after having sampled two Chinese gold nibs from Wingsung recently, this one is almost a wet noodle by comparison. However, using it for Western cursive writing is a challenge. It is a challenge I'm willing to take, however, but we'll have to see how much I'll use this nib compared to some other nib options I have in the calligraphy number one, number two, and number seven steel versions, as well as my Kaigaloo long blade architect nibs. So, is this pen worth the $115 US plus $16 US shipping charges just to get gold? I'm almost on the fence about this right now, but I'm feeling like I'm slipping towards saying yes. It is certainly a unique and beautiful nib. It might not actually remain in this 323, however, as I'm thinking of moving it over to my Amber is a Cat 323. I'm going to round up all of my Kaigaloo long blade nibs, some of my favorite custom architects, a couple of stubs, and my five pen BBS calligraphy nibs and do a video showing how they all compare. That will come in a couple of weeks. But next Wednesday, you have to join me for a very special video. I'm going to review this aluminum pen BBS 323. It has a medium pen BBS nib on it. And I'm going to give this away to a lucky subscriber in celebration of my channel hitting 1 million views. So be sure not to miss that. And there you have it. Thanks go out to viewer and pen friend Carl Mueller for gifting me this exquisite Pen BBS 323 Galaxy. I will treasure it always. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And don't forget you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I will answer your comments in the comment section and you get cool emojis and badges too. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.